Welcome to Retro Bassin. We all know about the amazing hunting and fish catching abilities of the pre rapala Storm Wigglewort. Well, today on Retro Bassin, we're going to talk about a lesser known imitation from Cotton Cordell, the Wiggle O. Stick around. Retro Bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin. Pretty early in this Retro Bassin journey, I rekindled a love affair with a early bait from my childhood, the Storm Wigglewort. You can tell this is a pre rappel Wigglewort because it says Wigglewort right on the bill. And this lure is famous for its unique hunting ability. When you reel this thing, it literally moves around like a jumping bean. And the reason being has to do with this unique lip. A, it is a unique concave lip that sort of lends itself to a hunting action. But the pre rappel molds were, we'll say, a little bit jacked up. You can see here that that lip is absolutely crooked. And it is that imperfection which really leads to the unique action of this bait. Well, needless to say that these baits uh, were and are very sought after. And if you're going to find a pre rappel wiggler on eBay, you're going to be spending at least 25 to 30 bucks for it. While I was searching for pre rappel wigglewurts, and I definitely have a few of them, I stumbled across a lesser known imitation from Cotton Cordell, and that is the Wiggle O. This bait looks a whole lot like a wigglewort. We'll do a little side by side, and you can definitely see the inspiration uh, for this lure. Some of the unique things about the Cordell Wiggle O first off, it's got that really nice bean shape sort of a, a tapered tail that almost sort of flattens out a little bit. And it has got that unique lip. Now, this production lip does not have the imperfections that lead to that crazy hunting action in a pre rappel wiggle Wigglewort, but the Wiggle-O definitely has a cult following. And for those like the throat, they say that it hunts as well as, if not better, than the Wigglewort. So today on Retro Bass, we're gonna be doing a little bit of everything. First, we're going to get on the water on Lake Travis and see if we can tempt a fall bass or two with a Cotton Cordell Wiggle-O. After that, we'll get back to the studio, take a closer look at some of the baits that I've got, and we'll also debate whether or not the Cotton Cordell Wiggle-O can truly compete with that pre rappel wiggle ward. Wiggle-O. <laughs> All right, doing a little cranking on the back side of this island I discovered. And I've got this tied on, the Cotton Cordell Wiggle-O. And if you think this looks a whole lot like a storm wiggle wart, well, you are uh, not mistaken. Never actually thrown the Wiggle-O before. I gotta say, initially, it hunts even more than the wiggle wart, which is crazy to think about. Even more than the OG wiggle warts, too. Oh, there's one. Got one on the wiggle o. <laughs> what is that? Is that a little spotty? Ah, no, no, no. That is not a spotted bass. That is a Guadalupe bass. And woo, that's probably the nicest Guadalupe I've gotten in a minute as well. Let's see if I can get this guy off. Come on, buddy. Wow. That is a pretty little Guadalupe bass. Check him out. 
he has been eating well as well. Look at that. That's a nice little, uh, I don't know, half pound quad. Check that thing out. <laughs> on the old cotton cordell. Ow! Well, that was fun to get a nice quad on a new bait, uh, new for me at least. And here it is, the Cotton Cordell Wiggle O. If this thing looks a lot like a Storm Wiggle Wart to you, uh, that is no accident. Uh, this is definitely a uh, takeoff, ripoff of that bait. I've never thrown the Wiggle O before, but I gotta tell you, this absolutely hunts uh, as well as an OG Storm Wiggle Wart. Discontinued bait from Cotton Cordell. I don't know what year they discontinued this thing. But this is a pretty neat looking little bait. It's definitely got that bean shape of the wiggle wart. It's got a couple of pretty cool, uh, almost serpentine looking eyes. And a neat little plastic bill that sort of has that wiggle wart shape. And just a little bit of concavity so that this thing really hunts. This thing actually hunts crazy. It hunts so much that I had to slow down my reeling, otherwise it would just sort of burn out to the side. I'm gonna make a few more casts on this point to see if there's any more guads, uh, but I'm definitely gonna keep the old Wiggle O tied on and we'll uh, keep chunking and winding it today. Well, we didn't get any more fish on that island, so I'm gonna life jack it up and we'll uh, keep looking for some more spots. Maybe in the shade, because it's like getting hot. It's October. Got one. Ooh, is that a big one? That's something big. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's a nice fish. Come on, buddy. Let's get him in here. Oh. I might net him. He looks barely hooked. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there we go. Woo. Nice little fish in the wiggle And yeah, that bait just popped out. Oh, man. <laughs> well, there we go, a pretty largemouth bass on the Cotton Cordell Wiggle O. That's funny, he hit that, he must have been like lying on the bottom, because I was definitely bottom bouncing with that bait, and he just cracked it. He was barely, barely hooked. Pretty fish, at least on that side. Uh, he looks like he's got a little bit of a jacked up lip on the other. Uh, but all in all, a gorgeous, gorgeous Lake Travis bass. Whew, nice. Yeah, the key with this bait I'm learning is I really got to slow down. As I'm sure you guys can tell, I catch a bass, I get super excited, and I start speed reeling. The trouble is, with this bait, you really got to let it just kind of go slow and do its thing, because otherwise, it'll just blow out to the side if you reel too fast. All right, so we just pulled up to another spot here. This bank's a little bit steeper than the one I've been fishing, but I see some wood up ahead. Go oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. Ho, 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 there's a fish. Come on, buddy. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, yapping, yapping. And uh, there's a little large mouth. Nice. I was just about to say, uh, I don't see any wood right here. It's a little steeper, but there's some wood up ahead. And... Yeah, that guy just jumped on the Wiggle-O right at the boat. Oh, man. Holy cow, that was definitely the hardest hit of the day. Got water all over the camera. Oh, my goodness. Well, there we go. Nice, angry, little large-mouthed bass. A little fall belly starting to come in on him. <laughs> See you, buddy. All right, so I haven't been fishing a ton of bluff walls today, but this one looks nice because there are just some huge chunk rocks that are... Uh, just sort of falling into the water, and I'm definitely gonna throw that wiggle O around some of these spots. Oh wow, this looks really good.
Oh, there's a fish. Nice fish. Oh my goodness. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get the net on that guy. Oh, that's a nice bass. <laughs> oh, he hit so hard. Come on. Don't. Oh, man. How big is that fish? Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. When they hit this wiggle, oh, they hit it like a flipping ton of bricks. Oh, man. That is actually a tank of a largemouth bass. Holy cow. I gotta see this thing. Oh my goodness. That was wild. I don't know that I need the net for him, but I felt like I needed the net for him. Check out that tank of a largemouth bass that absolutely crushed my cotton cordell wigglow. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. That was uh, totally took me by surprise. I was like sleep at the wheel on that one. And all of a sudden he just came out of that rock and just destroyed this thing. Well, there we go. There's our nice largemouth bass. Uh, that is a nice little two pounder, maybe a three. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we are putting a little day together, aren't we? Let's let him go. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little trip over to Lake Travis. That is definitely a lake that I have not been giving nearly enough attention to the past year. And after fishing it a couple times in the past couple weeks, I definitely going to be spending some time on that body of water. Before we do get into looking at the Cotton Cordell Wiglows, I do have a couple of quick channel announcements. Uh, first off, we just got a fresh batch of hats uh, over at Texas Provisions, and we have some brand new colors uh, of the old school retro bassin patch logo. Uh, we've got one in a nice gray and black. Ooh, I like this one. <laughs> Check that one out. And my personal favorite, the OG camo. I'll drop a link in the video description to all of the retro bass and gear, um, but head on over to txprovisions.com and you can check out these hats and much, much more. I really wasn't sure what kind of day we we're gonna have on the water with the Cotton Cordell Wiggle O. Uh, for one, I could not find a ton of information on this bait. We'll talk a little bit about that, but what information I could find seemed to kind of fall into one of two camps. Either folks said it was basically a uh, cut rate version of the Storm Wiggle Wart without the hunting action, and others said that it actually hunted even better. Having fished it for the better part of a day and caught a couple of nice fish on it, I can attest that this little dude absolutely will hunt. It hunted so much, in fact, uh, I had to slow down my reeling because if I reeled too fast, sort of like what you saw in the underwater footage, it would just, just shoot off and almost just run sideways. So definitely had that hunting action, um, ran very similar to an OG wiggle wart, which I thought was really, really cool. This is the color that I caught it on, and uh, this is just sort of a, a baby bass color. I did find one that I had in my tackle box in more of a translucent, and you can sort of see the guts of the bait a little bit better. So it looks like there are a couple of belly weights in there. There's sort of a bigger one in the middle and a smaller one in the back. They do move side to side. Uh, the lip itself, it looks like this is definitely a multiple piece design. You can sort of see where the lip has been inserted into the body of the bait. Try to get my fingers out of the way so you guys can get a really good look at the guts of the Wiggle O. I do love the eyes on this thing, by the way. It almost reminds me of like a custom bait that old Debo would make. I, I love those snake looking eyes. And let's talk about that lip. So yes, it is not one of those jacked up OG wiggle wart lips. It's definitely smooth, no weird edges, but it's got that wiggle wart concavity where it will definitely do some side to side motion. Love that. 
And I definitely need to fish more of these baits. I've got a number of them. I've only thrown one out of my collection. But next time on the water, I might be throwing this guy for sure. So I do have some different packaging uh, of the Wiggle O, and the earliest one I could find was this one. Uh, sort of the classic black and an orange and pink cotton cordell. And what's interesting about it is this is definitely a Pradco bait. You can see there's a LureNet website on there, and it says copyright 2001. I was a little bit curious as to why I couldn't find any spreads of the Cotton Cordell uh, among my many Bass Pro Shops Master Catalogs. I've got everything from the 1978 catalog all the way up to about, I think it's probably 1998. So this bait must have come out after that, probably sometime perhaps in 2001. Here's another variation of that Wiggle And this one clearly is some sort of walleye pattern, and I think that's also the walleye packaging but also says Lornet and copyright 2001. So that must have been, you know, if not the only year, one of the big years for this bait. And the most recent packaging of that Wiggle O is this one. Definitely a newer school Cotton Cordell packaging, but on the back, circa 2003. So potentially a very short run for the Wiggle O. I don't know exactly when it started and when it ended, um, but it could have been a really, really short run for this bait for whatever reason. Uh, this bait is the size that I was throwing all day. This is the size zero. It is a two inch, seven sixteenths ounce version of that bait, similar to the classic wiggle wart. Uh, I've also got one that is a smaller size here, the baby wiggle -o. And I'll hold these two side by side so you can sort of see how the little one compares. Looks like the little one is an inch and three quarters and five sixteenth of an ounce. And on the other side of the spectrum, we've got the big dog. This is a two and a half inch model and a three quarter ounce wiggle That thing honestly could totally catch a bass, but I've got a feeling that might be like the salmon version. Uh, I've got some different colors of this one and they're all sort of very uh, non-bassy colors, except for maybe that one. This is definitely a bait that I'm gonna be fishing with again real soon, and I definitely need to do a better job of getting some underwater footage. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you wanna see a Wiggle O versus Wiggle Wart episode. Uh, I would be really curious to throw these both in the same day and kinda of see which one outperforms. Before we head for the barn, I do wanna pause for a new little segment we've been doing on the channel, Bass and Bud of the Week. This week's Bass and Bud of the Week is Crankbait Connor who tagged me on Instagram with a picture of him fishing old school, not necessarily with a rod and reel that was OG, but definitely a pack of old school Berkeley power baits that's probably older than he is. If you do want to throw your name in the hat for Bass and Bud of the Week honors, just go ahead and post a picture on Instagram or Facebook of you fishing old school with classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment, and go ahead and tag me at RetroBassin and also hashtag Fish it old school. And if you're looking for more old school content, click right here. Otherwise, I'll see you back here next week, same time, same place. And until then, keep the carpet side up and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.